This is Jason Netherton, CEO Talk, and uh, let's get at it. Uh, today's episode one, and uh, I titled it In the Beginning. In the beginning of setting up your company, I'm talking incorporated companies, could be sole proprietors, you gotta wear a lot of hats. You know, which hat are you gonna wear today? How many hats are there? How are you gonna complete the 100 tasks you gotta complete over the, the day of the month uh, and the 1,000 throughout the year? So the trick is, is I always kind of classify everything into threes. The three Ps, in my mind, are plan, prioritize, and pace. Plan, prioritize, and pace. I'll make sure it's on the screen. So what we mean by that is build your strategic plan. You've got many different departments that you don't realize that you've created by creating this great monstrosity of a business that's gonna make you billions of dollars and uh, nobody told you how to do this, okay? So you've got a lot of different departments, a lot of different hats. So for example, I'll show you on our company flight plan. I call it a flight plan. It's actually a, a corporate org chart um, or a strategic plan. There's many different words in the industry for it, but I call it a flight plan because you need a team, you need a pilot to run the thing. And um, I'll show you an example online here of a company that we're working with and taking public called Draft House Labs. And um, inside that you can see the different departments. We've got uh, this particular one, we've got uh, corporate and um, underneath that there's a lot of legal finance issues. We've got uh, business operations, which is all your in-house items I'll go into in a minute. And uh, we have app development, we've got business development and marketing. Um, a standard sheet that we use, I kind of run you through that. Corporate, what's engaged in corporate? That's setting up your corporation, the type of corporation that you need to run um, in order to be successful. That would be your share structure as well. So type of share structure you have to consider for tax planning. Um, if you're bringing on investors or financing, there's different share structures in around that. So you need to know what that model looks like. Uh, again, our team here, that's what we do. Um, and then you go over to business operations. Business, business operations are your business planning, your strategic planning, your, um, your employee HR documents, your operational software uh, for communication all you know generally the people part of it but also the tools that you're using in the operations make it efficient next department you can see is finance that's your bookkeeping accounting your financial model for revenues and expenses uh, the monthly reviews for your p l and g l so use the business owner yeah you should be looking at your finances your income and expenses every month making sure you're on track with your budget well, that's good good habit to be in and a good process to use from early on the next uh, step we have there is business development and sales. Who's gonna be selling? So is it you? Well, if you're selling, then who's doing all these other things that we talked about, right? Marketing, how you reach your target market audience. And you know, what kind of budget? Where you best spending your dollars from early on, or maybe it's a later on, strategically planning out, um, you know, how you're gonna get to that next level of revenue you need to have that department running and firing at all cylinders. So all this needs to be flushed out and uh, early on or it's gonna catch up, on, catch up to you. And you know, from personal experience here in our office, we, we, we uh, start experiencing rapid growth and uh, a simple tool like a communication tool for the staff to organize um, tasks. So organizing tasks, priority one, two, and three that not all of a sudden they're overburdened with a number of tasks that now, you know, just analysis paralysis kicks in and you freeze up. So how do you strategically plan your tasks out for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year to hit your targets and drive that company forward? Uh, so, you know, we had to implement a, a particular software that helped us manage that and we've tried many different things over the years and, and um, most recently, we just upgraded our system and said, hey, this is going to solve a lot of problems. So it gives you some real life examples and what you need to do. So early on in your business, you need to build that strategic plan. It might sound um, overwhelming for you, but it's something that's going to happen over time. The other thing, the next, uh, so we talked about P, which is plan and then two, prioritize the items inside there in each department. And then we're gonna talk about pace. You can't build everything all at once. 
yeah, you want to go from zero income to uh, billions of income. Well, it, that's not going to happen overnight. Okay. So you need to build phases for the company to build insanity for your brain. So we've got listed on the chart here, phase one, two, three, and four. Year one, two, three, and four. Okay. Um, I hope that's helpful. It's helpful for us. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some more CEO, CEO talk with different um, business owners. And uh, we'd like you to be part of that. Jason Anderson, CEO talk. Take care. Have a great day.